Uh, I like a lot of his work, but like he's got these few small ones in the show that he's having here. They're like square panels. I think they're like 30 inches by 30 inches. It's just like abstract sticks laying on the ground. And I thought they were so interesting. The colors were really cool on them. It's nothing that crazy, but it's, I think they're really cool personally. <laughs> Uh, favorite piece, I don't think that I have any one individual piece that I like the best, but anything with fairies in it. Todd did a portrait, of, he took a selfie of him and me on the playa and he made that into a picture for me and gave me that. And um, that's my favorite because <laughs> that's mine. <laughs> As, uh, actually, it's sort of a portrait of me. When I tattoo, I'm gloved from the elbows up and uh, you know, if I get an important phone call or a text message, I can't just touch it, my touchpad with my hand. So I use my nose and I swipe all the touch pads and everything like that. So I look like this chicken pecking. And uh, he, did this <laughs> he did this painting of me uh, pecking at my cell phone, at my iPhone with all these like dollars laying around and there's chicken wire with you know, in the pattern of sacred geometry, so I actually have it hanging upstairs. It's, it's probably one of my favorite paintings he's done. It's hilarious. He's got a good sense of humor with his art. Well, actually, my dad painted my entire room, so it's a mural of all these animals and everything, and there's, like, these fairies and everything, and I don't know why. It just makes me feel happy, I guess, so I go sit in my corner. I like a lot of different eras of Todd's work, but there is one period that I think is really extraordinary and it's a style of painting in which he paints layers and he still does this now and then but there were a few years when he was painting only layer upon layer upon layer using mostly lines and it mimics our thought processes and you can see in his work you can see in his paintings in these series in particular you can see what happens in Todd's mind, which is very much like what happens in all of our minds, where we have one thought and another thought and they keep coming back to one another and overlapping and intersecting and bouncing off of one another. And you can see the thought process reflected in the work. Um, as far as the individual pieces, like they're the ones that sort of stand alone that are smaller pieces. I really like his ones from Burning Man that were taken on, uh, that were based on different art installations on the playa. I really liked um, like the different ones of the spaceships that he has and everything like that. Uh, the ones that I like out of the giant panels the most is it's it's kind of tough to say. I really like the one that's the has the dragons and the airplane in it. Um, I don't. I, one of the things I love about it is I don't know exactly what's going on, but there's a little bit there that I feel that as the viewer you can just sort of have sort of a free interpretation, and still get just as much out of it, even though you don't know exactly what's going on. The the one where he there are these um, airplanes that are coming in and I think there are pixies on them and uh, fairies on them and just a lot of things going on in the sky and I, I think that's really intense and, and I enjoy that one. Also there's one with gnomes and you have to love gnomes, right? I mean, so. <laughs>